In this video, you'll see how to integrate AWS products into your Jira Service Management portal. The AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Management, formerly the AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Desk, allows end users to provision, manage, and operate AWS resources natively via Jira Service Management from Atlassian. Jira Service Management users can browse and request AWS services. With the AWS Service Management Connector, administrators procure, publish, and govern AWS resources via AWS Service Catalog, track resources in Jira Service Management using a view powered by AWS Config, execute automation playbooks via AWS Systems Manager, and create and manage operational items through AWS Systems Manager Ops Center. This solution simplifies AWS product request actions for Jira Service Management users and provides Jira Service Management governance and oversight over AWS products. Let's start this demonstration with a quick look at the Jira Service Management Customer Portal. Users can browse the different request categories for the services they need. They can submit and manage their own service requests or order approved hardware and software. You can make AWS Cloud Services available to users here by using the AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Management. Let's switch to the online documentation to find out how. In this example, we'll be using the Server and Data Center version of the connector. A JSM Cloud version of the AWS Service Management Connector can also be found on the Atlassian Marketplace. Be sure to review the prerequisites for AWS and Jira Service Management before starting this integration in your environment. To make this process easier, you can use an AWS CloudFormation template to configure your AWS account with the policies, roles, and users you'll need for the connector. You can also do these steps manually by following the documentation. Let's download the template. Now let's switch to the AWS CloudFormation console and create the stack. Specify the template file you just downloaded and upload it. Next, specify the stack details. Because some products you make available through Jira Service Management might need to perform stack operations across multiple regions, you need to have the necessary permissions defined in your AWS accounts. Keep this parameter set to true to create the roles needed for these operations. Now proceed through the rest of the options. Acknowledge the terms and then create the stack. After a few minutes, the stack will complete the deployment. Let's take a look at all the resources that were deployed. These include the policies, roles, and users that are needed to configure the connector. Next, let's navigate to AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, to review the roles that were just created. Here you can see the roles deployed by the template, including the optional stack set roles. The launch role is used to place baseline service permissions into the AWS Service Catalog launch constraints. The template also created two user accounts. End user enables the connector to provision AWS products by assuming a role that contains the trust relationship with the account and policies needed for the end user privileges in AWS Service Catalog. Sync user is used to synchronize AWS native features from AWS Service Catalog, AWS Config, and AWS Systems Manager into Jira Service Management. Let's take a closer look. For each user account, be sure to note the access key ID and secret key value. You'll need those to configure the connector. Next, let's look inside AWS Service Catalog. The CloudFormation template we deployed also created a sample portfolio in AWS Service Catalog. Let's use it to demonstrate how to set up the connector. This portfolio contains a single product that allows users to create Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, buckets in this account. A launch constraint has already been defined for this product, using the SC Connect launch role. The end user role has also been granted access to this portfolio. Next, let's navigate to AWS Config to evaluate the configurations of our resources. To take advantage of the advanced capabilities of the AWS Service Management Connector, you need to ensure that AWS Config has been enabled for this region. 
Now that you've reviewed all the initial setup in AWS, let's navigate to Jira Service Management to see how to set up the connector. The AWS Service Management connector for Jira Service Management is released as a conventional Jira app. You can easily search for it in the Atlassian Marketplace for Jira. Install the connector now. When the AWS Service Management connector is installed, Navigate to the Manage Apps screen. Notice the new section for AWS Service Management Connector in the left navigation pane. Go to AWS Accounts. Connect to the AWS account. Enter an account alias to identify this AWS account in Jira. Next, enter the credentials for the sync user and end user. These are the access key identities and credentials for the users saved from the AWS configuration. Select the AWS region containing AWS Service Catalog products and portfolios that you want available in Jira Service Management. Test connectivity. The connection has been successfully validated, so click Connect to finalize the account settings. Now sync the portfolio to load the available products into the system. Once synchronization is complete, you can manage which groups are permitted to access each portfolio in a region. At least one group must be associated with an AWS Service Catalog portfolio for Jira Service Management end users to be able to request AWS products. Select the group you want to add. In this case, let's add all groups. If products in this portfolio do not require approvals, Leave the checkbox empty and save your settings. Return to the AWS Accounts page. Notice that the AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Management gives administrators the option to require approvals at the portfolio level. In this case, let's not configure any approvals. Next, let's look at Connector Settings. Here you can see the connector settings that are enabled by default including AWS Service Catalog, AWS Config, AWS Systems Manager Automation, and Systems Manager Ops Center. Ops Center integration was recently added to allow Jira users to resolve operational items while maintaining their existing workflows in Jira. You can uncheck any of the features you don't want the connector to use. You can hide or enable UI settings in AWS Service Catalog that allow the user to edit the product name select a launch option or product version, specify tag values, or create a plan for creation or update of a provisioned product. The AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Management must be associated with at least one Jira project. Only users with access to the associated Jira project will be able to view and request AWS Service Catalog products. Next, you need to add the AWS request type to a group so users can access AWS products in Jira Service Management. Installing the connector already made AWS an available request type, so you don't need to create it. Find it and select it. Finally, add the AWS product request type to any groups where you want it displayed in the portal. The configuration of the AWS Service Management Connector is now complete. Let's switch to the role of an end user to see how this works. Here is the customer portal you saw earlier. Select the Servers and Infrastructure category. Request an AWS product by completing the form. First, provide a brief summary of the request. Open the AWS Product Request Detail menu and select a product to provision. Fill in the product request details, including product reference name, parameters, and tags. Choose Create to submit the Jira Service Management request and provision the AWS Service Catalog product. After the request processes, a message appears indicating that provisioning has started. Reload the page to update it.
you can expand the provision product event to see more details about the S3 bucket. For example, here is the name of the bucket that was created. Now when this user signs into AWS with appropriate permissions, they can see the bucket that was just created. The bucket is now ready to use. Let's switch to the Jira Service Management Customer Portal. On the Request screen, the user can see the product that was provisioned. They can drill into AWS product details as well, including the status of the product request, product events, and activities. Because AWS Config is enabled for the connector, the user can also see details about linked resources for the S3 bucket. When a product has an available status, users can request further actions. For instance, they can request an update. Or they can terminate the provisioned product. These actions render additional product events and activities within the request. Once the product is terminated, the request closes in a resolved state. You've just seen how to integrate AWS products into your Jira Service Management Portal. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.